And a lot of this is playing out in that Senate race in the state of Pennsylvania. NBC News correspondent Dasha Burns has been doing some great definitive reporting on that race, and she joins us now. Dasha, good morning. So you're taking a closer look today at the issue of crime, something Elise was talking about in those Pennsylvania yeah. focus groups earlier this morning as well. Yeah, well, well, look, as these critical races are tightening across the country, Republicans, they've worked toward a red October in part by hammering Democrats on the issue of crime. And nowhere is that more apparent than in Pennsylvania's high stakes Senate race between Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman and Dr. Mehmet Oz. In Pennsylvania, fear is on the ballot. The record-setting crime levels in Philadelphia getting worse. While Democrats drill down on abortion, Codify Roe. Republicans hope to ride a red wave on crime, spending millions here on ads painting Democratic Senate candidate John Fetterman as soft on crime. Fetterman hitting back, saying Oz's policies would put Pennsylvanians in danger. Mehmet Oz would make it easier for domestic abusers to get guns. Overall, crime rates in Pennsylvania are falling. But in Philadelphia, violent crime and property crime is on the rise. And homicides are almost on track to reach last year's record high. The celebrity TV doctor joining other Republicans in focusing on crime in an effort to cut into Fetterman's strength in Philadelphia and its suburbs. With small roundtable talks about crime and addiction and tours of neighborhoods like opioid-rattled Kensington. That event ending with Oz taking four people to a local detox center. This is a humanitarian crisis right here in the middle of one of our biggest cities in America, and we're allowing it to happen. Oz's events are small with repeat speakers. I'm fed up with the system that is playing, playing politics with the lives of us that live in these communities. Including one who turned out to be a campaign staffer. What can you do as a senator about crime in Pennsylvania? There's a lot of things I would do. And I want to get to the root cause and start there, but I'll walk you through the police as well, because I was endorsed by the Fraternal Order of Police. The, the candidate telling NBC News Congress should use its subpoena powers to press local governments for answers on crime and promoting federal subsidies for school choice as a response. Oz has also questioned Fetterman's record as head of Pennsylvania's Board of Pardons in being too lenient in recommending clemency. Too often John Fetterman seems to pay more attention to the feelings of the criminals than the innocent who were hurt. Are you soft on crime? Of course not. I'm actually effective on crime and I believe in second chances. Fetterman has law enforcement endorsements of his own and highlights his record as mayor of Braddock, a town outside of Pittsburgh. He funded the police and created a strong partnership between the, the, the police and the, the community. So I'm the only candidate that I'm actually running on my record on crime, whereas Dr. Oz has never done anything about crime except going around and, and running a bunch of commercials lying about my record. Those commercials may be working. Oz has trimmed Fetterman's lead in numerous polls. It worked by making people who were most concerned about crime a bit less supportive of the Democratic candidate, a bit more supportive of the Republican candidate. We're talking about shifts in the six to 10 point range in favorability towards those candidates. And guys, I've been talking to voters all over Pennsylvania, all over the political spectrum, Republicans, Democrats, independents, from suburbs to cities. They all told me that crime and public safety were among their top issues. We'll have some more of those voter conversations for you next week ahead of that first and only debate between Oz and Fetterman on Tuesday. Joe, make up. All right, NBC's Dasha Burns, thank you very much for that report. Let's bring in now MSNBC legal analyst Charles Coleman and former CIA officer Mark Polymeropoulos. He's an NBC News security and intelligence analyst. And I think we want to take a look, closer look at right. crime in America and in major cities like Philadelphia well, uh, yeah. and what's really happening versus what some politicians say is happening. Right. And so, and so Mark, you actually have spent a lot of time uh, in Philadelphia uh, going around on patrols with Phil Philadelphia police officers. Uh, we saw we saw the stats there. Murder rates look like they're going to uh, at least match the record from last year, the horrible record from last year. What do you see when you're driving around uh, in those patrol cars? Well, you know, Joe, I think back to my time at, at CIA. There was a, an old CIA director who said, you know, we do hard stuff. And when I'm with the Philly cops on the, on the, on the street, I think of that motto because, you know, the situation is certainly nuanced. It, it, it's difficult. 
but but you know the fact remains that crime is a serious issue and and the cops in, in Philadelphia you know there, there's two things that I think are, are, are important to point out one is you know some feel you know beleaguered some feel underappreciated uh, and and many actually note the strain uh, that that they have that the police has with with local government whether it's the city council or the, or the mayor or particularly the, the district attorney who is it was you know almost started this lab experiment on law enforcement in which uh, you know, there's there's more leniency on on prosecuting violent criminals, and the cops feel that. You know, the, the what what I hear from cops on the street is, you know, uh, the criminals know that if if you get caught with a gun, you're probably not going to jail, and this is demoralizing mm. to many of of the police officers. Now they're still incredibly dedicated. You know, I I, I think to my time, I, I just spent time in the 24th and 25th. Uh, district in Kensington, which was just mentioned in, in the previous report, it, it's a, it's an area that is is extraordinary to witness with uh, with crime and and uh, drug addiction, homelessness. Um, but you still have dedicated officers on the street. I was I was with two uh, uh, officers right out of the academy, and they want to be there. You know, I think of, of time even with the 18th district. I met a uh, an African American female sergeant. She had been you know undercover as a as a vice cop for a while, and I asked her. I said, Why do you do this? You know, I looked her right in the eye, and she said. Because there's good people here in Philadelphia, and I want to help them. But the problem is, I think they, they at times feel underappreciated, and really, it's it, it's it's the relationship with local city officials, not necessarily, uh, you know, at the at the you know at the at the House or the Senate level is what right. we hear what we hear about in the mm -hmm. races. This is local city officials who they don't feel appreciate them. Yeah. So, yeah, and, and and Mika, this is this is not just in Philadelphia. This is not just in New York, though. Of course, Elise uh, talked to Philadelphia voters, yeah. who told them, who told her they were really nervous about crime in Philadelphia, and it may impact the debate. But